Kimberly Wiggins here. Hello, as always, three simple tips about self-publishing. So as many of you already know, I am working on a passion project. It's a book that I decided to write to get my feet wet and to get all warm and fuzzy with the self-publishing process. Now, I have done this before. This is a secret, don't tell anybody. But I do have a published book out there on Amazon already that I did years and years and years ago. Um, then I was just trying to learn the Kindle process. But this one is the passion project that I chose before I write my signature book. And so my friend Candace Davis and I were talking about it and she's a professional editor and she gave me these really valuable tips. And since we we're talking about self-publishing and book writing this week, I wanted to share those with you. Tip number one, when you're done with your book, which is at the stage I am, I've written all the pages I believe that I need to write, go ahead and print copies of the book and kind of just find them yourself and give them to three to five friends who can review the book copies for you. Now, these are not editors. These are just people who are probably in your, our friends or people that you know who are in your ideal audience set for the book. And you value their opinion, you trust their feedback, and that way you can get a feel for how your audience may receive the book. And you will have some editing done, some personal editing that you can do to the book before you give it to the editor. And that way you won't have to do it twice. Um, tip number two, always, 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 always hire a professional editor. Do not think you can be your own editor. Do not give it to a friend to read and think they can edit it for you. I had one person tell me before, oh, I, had a, I have a friend who's an English teacher, so I just had her edit it. Well, she's an English teacher and I'm sure her English is impeccable, but you wanna make sure that you're hiring someone who have professionally edited books so that they're giving you a professionally edited book rendition of your book that you can use to release your greatest work. Remember that. And the third tip is the cover design. Remember that your cover is the first thing that someone will see. It's your first impression, just like you. So you wanna make sure that your cover is sharp and on point. So make sure that you are using a professional cover designer. Um, your cover will give people the impression of what your book looks like. So you want it to be really sharp and diva-like and professional. Yes, you do. You want it to be great. So always use a professional cover designer. Don't use one of those do-it-yourself services or anything else. I would not be great at that because I can tell you, I... My creativity is not there for that. So I will be using a professional designer. So those are my three tips. Um, definitely use those. Good luck on your book project if you have one. I'm excited about my process for mine and how I will learn self-publishing in this process. And the great thing about self-publishing, I think, is that once you learn how to do it, you can replicate it again and again and again and again. There is... Um, one of my colleagues in one of my groups, Connie Reagan Green, talks about how she has just published so many books herself. And she just um, kicks them out, something at like a rate of three to four per year. And it's amazing. It's like, oh. So once I'm excited about learning this process so that I will be able to do the same thing, hopefully. So see you later. Bye.